Hi, I'm Andy Jones, Content Editor for Plaid's online education program, Let's Paint. And today, it's all about setting up a workstation to make you a more efficient painter. Setting up your painting station. Most people think you just have a clear spot to work in and you sit down, you gather up your supplies and you start. That's one way to do it. I think that if you have a system to set up your supplies at your painting area, it will help make things easier for you. So let me show you how I would set up a painting station and how I ask students in my classroom to set up their painting station. To begin with, the most important thing you're going to have is a wax coated palette. This is where you're going to put out your paint, this is where you're going to load your brush, you're going to do a lot of work on your palette and that should be directly in front of you. Then you need a brush basin. I set my brush basin at the corner of my palette. Since I'm right-handed I set it at the right-hand side of my palette. If you're left-handed you would put it on the other side. An important thing that I always have on my painting table are folded paper towels. Now this is where some people just laugh at me about the necessity to take the paper towel off the roll and fold it into quarters. And I do that for a number of reasons and I'll explain those to you. But they go to the right of my palette directly in front of my water basin. Then I would also have a little towel as a docking station for my paint brushes or a palette knife. And this to me is the ideal setup. Palette in front of you, paper towels, brush basin, brushes off to the right hand side if you're right handed. And then to the left is where I would lay down my project that I'm painting on. Let's talk about these paper towels and why I fold them. So many times I have been teaching a class and I'm walking around the room helping people and somebody will hand me a paper towel that's in a wad and sometimes there's wet paint on it, sometimes there's dry paint over here. You never really know what's going on. And if you have this wadded up paper towel and it's got some wet paint on it and some dry paint on it and you go to pick it up, you'll get some paint on your hands, you'll pick up your project, then you'll get paint on your project and it's not a good situation. But if you always have your paper towels neatly off the roll, folded into quarters, when I'm painting, I can pick up part of my paper towel, put my brush down, lay the paper towel back on top of it, press and pull my brush out, taking the excess paint off my brush and grooming the brush back into its good flat shape. That keeps the paint off my hands so that I'm not making a mess on my work surface. I think you need to try to be a very neat and tidy painter. Um, if you saw the condition of my studio, you might not think I was a neat and tidy painter, but my projects usually don't have paint dabs on them from my fingers. My hands are generally clean because I don't get paint all over them, and I have a nice paper towel that I can wipe my brush off or if I get a little bit of paint on my hand, I can instantly wipe it off on a clean surface. So again, palette in front of you, paper towels to the right, brush basin in front of it. So if you are rinsing out your brush, the next thing I would almost automatically do is blot it on my paper towel before I would come to my palette and do any work. So because I know where my basin is, where my paper towels are, and where things are on my palette, this becomes automatic. I don't have to think about, well, where's that brush basin or where's my cup of water? I'm not searching for that. Don't have to wonder where a clean spot on a paper towel is. It just takes all of that where is stuff out of my mind. If you cook regularly, you know where things are in your kitchen. If you go to someone else's kitchen and you're offering to help cook and they say, get me a measuring cup, chances are you're going to go to where you think a measuring cup belongs. In someone else's kitchen it might not be there. 
So learn to set up your workspace the same way all the time so you never have to wonder where your water is, where your paper towels are, where your brushes are resting. All of that's always in the same spot and it will help you become a much more proficient painter so that you're not wasting your time looking for your work materials. So this is how I set up my workstation. Every single time I paint, I have it in this same configuration and it's served me well for, I don't know, 35 years. So get in the habit of setting up your workstation always in the same spot and I think it will make things much easier for you as you paint along with us.